Welcome to another episode of Happy Go Lucky Beho Reviews. Today we're going to talk about one of the, if not best, anime in history, Dragon Ball. I'm betting most of you know what I'm talking about, so let's get to the meat of the episode and ask the one question. What happened to Dragon Ball Super on TV? Just so we don't sound like slave drivers in our demands, but after Dragon Ball Super ended in 2018, it compiled about... 131 straight episodes. That's a lot of episodes if you have to produce and animate. Toei Animation is Dragon Ball Super's animation company and they animate other brands as well besides Dragon Ball. Let's hunt for some answers. Since the last Dragon Ball Super event was for the film Dragon Ball Super Brawly in late 2018 and that movie made roughly about 125 million worldwide. With that success, it's hard not to think that just movies alone can do the work. Anthony Gramuglia from CBR.com brings up very interesting points that may answer all our looming questions on where the heck is Dragon Ball Super. The Dragon Ball Super manga keeps going past the last arc on television, which was the Tournament of Power, and it's going to eventually show an anime, right? The anime actually is not truly based on the manga. Toei Animation doesn't need the manga to catch up to keep working as they need to keep working no matter what. One widespread theory is that Dragon Ball Super will return once the manga has advanced some more. But that's likely not the case. Dragon Ball Super is not based on any manga. The manga is based on Super's anime. While the manga has diverged from the show's plot since the anime's conclusion and the anime may very well draw from the manga for inspiration, it's unlikely Toei Animation is waiting for the manga before continuing. Dragon Ball Super's manga is a spin-off of the Super Project. It started weeks before the anime started, but Dragon Ball Super had been in production for some time by that point. The manga skips over the Golden Frieza and Brawly arcs from the Super anime. In the arcs that are the same, the manga still has some meaningful differences from the anime. While the anime will probably adapt to the Galactic Patrol Prisoner arc once it returns, there's always a possibility that when Dragon Ball Super the anime returns, it could start off with an anime only arc. So what about more movies from the success of Brawly? We all know that there are plans for a follow-up to Brawly, but what is it all about? Iyoku said, Brawly was so strong that I think the next one will probably be totally different. I've overcome various hurdles with parts of Brawly, so I won't get burned out. I think that Dragon Ball will continue on, so I want fans to look forward to it. Business as usual also makes a lot of sense. Not many anime span 100 plus episodes due to profits. Most span about 13 to 25 episodes and then another season in a year or more depending on how well it does. But with a movie that made 125 million, well that's just less risk and a whole lot of more profits. Remember that Toei Animation is still a business first and fans may have to deal with that point. No matter what, we will see a Dragon Ball Super return in some form or another, whether it's being on television, big screen, or both. The best news is that there is hope, and it comes from Ryo Horikawa, the voice of my favorite character, Vegeta, in Japan. A recent tweet from Ryo Horikawa, the voice actor for Vegeta, indicates that Toei is in early development for Super Season 2. He recently tweeted... I just came out of a meeting at Toei Animation, but I won't tell you what it is, followed by hashtag Dragon Ball. This seems to indicate that Toei is only now in the early planning phases of Dragon Ball Super Season 2. 
That's it for me on this episode. Please like and subscribe if you like our videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here. Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.